James Kaufman, World News Report today. Today is November 2nd, 2023, noon central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. We've had another M-class solar flare. This time it was an M1.67, very short term. And we're going to discuss where it came from, which is the big question. Heading over to our D-Region Absorption Prediction Center, we can see that, in fact, the solar flare did hit Earth. You can see the X-ray flux here. Look like the impact happened in the Atlantic Ocean, almost exactly where yesterday's impact occurred, covering most of Africa and most of South America. Again, a good dose of radiation that no one here on Earth needs. Headed over to SDO, on the left, 193 angstroms, on the right, 171 angstroms. Look like we got a double whammy here. I'm going to show you what I mean by that. Uh, we'll see a huge filament eruption, along with 34, 74 lighting up down here all at the same time. Let's take that look at that again. Huge filament eruption here. At the same time, AR3474 erupts. Let's take a look at that on 171 angstroms. It doesn't look anywhere near as menacing, right? There was the, I guess, film eruption, and we definitely saw the solar flare generated by AR3474. So, we have a filament eruption, we have a solar flare simultaneously occurring on our sun, and that's why no one can tell us where this M flare came from currently. It's been over an hour, and it's still not been assigned to a sunspot, so it could very well just be the filament eruption, or just be the solar flare out of AR3474. I'll let you be the judge of that. Uh, while we're looking at this, we got to talk about the elephant in the room. We have a huge coral hole about to be Earth-facing, which will cause a lot of trouble in the form of heavy solar winds. And that will be inbound very, very shortly, guys. Taking a look at our sunspots, there's AR3474, the only complex sunspot currently on the disk. I don't believe 3477 is, but I will check into it. It does look complex. And it looks like that film eruption actually occurred in this area here. Might have been associated with AR3479, but we definitely had some action coming from AR3474 during that exact time period. Now, I hate not to be able to be specific as to what generated the M-class solar flare, but I will say this. The coral mass ejection is inbound. It does show up on Lasco C3, and I would expect it to impact Earth, I guess, by about the 4th, somewhere in that time period. So we do have a CME inbound from all that act, uh, activity that we saw. Again, I don't know if it was a filament eruption, a solar flare, or a combination of both. And it is inbound and will give it about, about 30 hours to get here. God bless you guys. Please share, subscribe, and always remember that anything is possible in the bizarro world.